we're back for the last part of this question. Given that the balance in the inventory account was recorded using the perpetual inventory system, and we know what that balance is. That balance is $3,994. Is the balance correct? Can we report this inventory value on the financial statements we publish? Why or why not? And the answer is, we can't. Even though our perpetual inventory system is recording every single inflow of inventory and every single outflow of inventory, there are a few reasons why that number is unlikely to be correct. The first is what's called shrinkage. Shrinkage is due to theft, both employee theft and customer theft. The fact is, even though we think there's $3,994 on our shelf, some of that inventory has likely been stolen. And as a consequence, that $3,994 is not equal to the future economic benefit of our inventory. That's because that inventory might not be there. Second reason why it's likely wrong, human error. There's human beings who are taking in the inventory off of the truck when it's shipped to us, and they're recording how much inventory is being received. There are also human beings who are recording the inventory that we send out to our customers. If those human beings make mistakes, if they record a box of inventory as one when there's really 12 little boxes inside a big box, or if they record that they shipped out two boxes when they actually shipped out 20 boxes, that's human error and it happens because humans make mistakes. The last reason why it's unlikely we have $3,994 on our shelf is because of damages. Inventory might have been damaged. Unfortunately, employees might not tell their bosses that they damaged some inventory. They might just stick it in the bottom of the garbage can or, or hide at the very back of the shelf. Some of these inventory items are likely damaged and therefore no longer saleable and have no future economic benefit. Because of that, we cannot take the number from our perpetual inventory system and publish it on our financial statements. So what do we need to do? Well, that's the topic for our next video.